Hi. Today I got my inspiration for a book called Could You, Would You? And it had this great illustration of someone inside a snow dome. And it made me think how great it would be to make our own snow domes, not of a tourist place, but of a place that's special to us. It could be a holiday place, it could be imagination place, it could be maybe just uh, your own house in your own street. Uh, just because it's, it's kind of a fun idea to put something every day into one of these special snow domes. So if you can see in this illustration, it's black and white. And I thought I would keep it black and white, but I would add blue for my water because um, we want it to look like the picture is underneath the water. So we're gonna have to keep our drawings in black and white and you can do that in biro. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So let's get started. So here's my finished picture and I'm gonna break it down into three stages. As you can see, it's got glitter on it, paint, and a little bit of biro. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna make our snow dome. I'm gonna draw it out like this, and then I'm gonna draw the base. I'm gonna do it all in pencil, so I, if I make a mistake, I can go back and rub it out. So that's the basic shape of the snow dome. Now, inside here, it's whatever you would like to be there. So it could be um, a holiday scene, it could be um, somewhere around here, your own street, for example. It could be two people that you really love, it's just, it's a special place, but not like they usually are, a tourist destination. It's something that's special to you. So it just could be maybe you, you, your friends in the school playground, something very special to you. Um, and I'm going to start, I'm going to do, well, what, what I did for the last one was I drew some of the winter trees in Victoria Park. So I'm going to draw my trees like this. See how they're in pencil? I'm just drawing them in pencil. And when I've just basically, I'm going to do this very quickly so I can show you the painting technique, but there's my tree and I'm gonna have a couple of people in the foreground, maybe just walking dogs or something, an ordinary picture, but you know, something that's fun to do at the moment, going for a walk with someone, just one person, obviously. So there we have that. And now I'm gonna get my blue paint. I'm gonna show you the technique. Now on this one, you can see it's a bit bluer at the top and it's kind of watery looking. And I'm gonna show you how to do the watery technique. I'm gonna make my snow dome all watery to start with. And I'm gonna get lots of blue on my brush to make it a lovely blue greeny blue and then I'm just going to wash it over oh it's it's already quite dark that one so I'm going to wash it over like that and I'm going to I'm not going to paint it all over I'm going to leave some little spaces like that and then I'm going to think about maybe putting a bit more blue up at the top so that it so that there's different color within it but I want it to be quite p pale because I want my drawing when I do it in biro to show through just going to do a tiny bit down the bottom here, a little watery bit. So I'm going to have to let that dry for quite a long time because if you don't, when you go in with your biro, it, um, it'll it tear the surface of it. So there is my little snow drone all ready to be drawn into and I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to show you the one that I worked on already. So I'm going to take that one out. Now here's the one that I worked on already. So I had it in all roughed out in pencil, and then I got a biro. I'm going to use black biro. You could, I suppose, use you could use coloured pencil for this part if you want to do. I'm just doing a black and white and blue one. Now I had some tr some houses here, and I'm going to do them like that. There, that this is the top part of Victoria Park. I'm going to put a few more branches in. I might put another lady over here walking, walking along, and she's just got a little tiny dog. So I, I was thinking about having a dog walking snow dome because I've, I've definitely never seen one of those. There she is. She's wearing a bubble hat. I think she's wearing a bubble hat. So that is the snow dome. Now, can you see what this is here? It's a little bit of sparkle. And that's because I put a very thin layer. When I was completely sure I was finished, I put a thin... I'm going to make the little sign here at the front. It says, Hackney. Or you could put... A present from Hackney, couldn't you? And I'm going to do the last. So that the last layer is to put some PVA, a little bit of PVA, and I've got some glitter here. Now the other thing, so you put a, a little layer of glitter on like this. I just put it on with my finger, and then a little layer of glue rather, and then you put that on like that, and then you shake a little bit of glitter on. Not everywhere because you you don't want it to be covered. Another thing you could use if you wanted is you could use a few of these. These are dots from a hole punch, and if you didn't have any hole punch dots, I guess you could just you could cut out some little scraps of either tin foil or things. So sometimes the snow is you can make it like snow snow. 
you can make it like glitter snow that's just to give you a bit of a look at it so it's got a few little dots of snow uh, one or the other I would say wouldn't you I would say, uh, decide what your snow is going to be is it going to be dots or is it going to be glitter I think I kind of like those dots actually it's up to you so don't forget to really think about the place that you want to bring to life um, and is it going to be somewhere near here or is it going to be a fantasy place it could be a made-up place it could be a, a snow dome of one of your own imagination stories it's up to you and i hope you have lots of fun <laughs>